Hi, all curious minds. Uh, today I was uh, listening to Stephen Bartlett's uh, 33 uh, Rules of uh, Business and Life, and I heard this concept in it 1% inf uh, improvements. This concept was a bit familiar uh, to me because uh, I already learned about it uh, from James Clear, Atomic Habits, and I was wondering about. Uh, why don't we apply this to security? And uh, it's quite, uh, quite an interesting uh, topic. When we're dealing with cyber security, we always uh, think about this like it's a huge. So it's, it's huge. It's a big project. It will co uh, cost us. A shitload of money. Uh, no experts. Well, there is a bit of a uh, shortage uh, around uh, security experts. And uh, I was thinking about why are uh, so many security efforts just get uh, well stuck at, in, in a point? For me, some uh, techniques uh, are so obvious, but uh, I just uh, cannot uh, well, tell it in a correct uh, way. And maybe this 1% improvements in security may push this idea. So, when we are talking about security, we're thinking about uh, ISO 27 or NIST or any other kind of security frameworks that uh, basically tells you nothing what to do. And uh, there are some uh, folks that try to well, work on this concept. Or if you are using a security tool in a uh, or any kind of uh, tool, then you try to figure out how to put this information from one point to another. And this makes a too big uh, junk of uh, positions. So I'm I'm mm, sorry. I'm here, but I want to teleport to this OK stage. Many projects uh, around uh, security, business, and uh, self improvements. Uh, attempts to do just this. I'm here, and I will suddenly appear uh, here. And now it makes sense to me why I am a so fan of code. coverage. So what is code coverage? Well, basically, uh, it means tests. How many percent of the code is tested? Hundred percent is achievable. 
but that's not the goal uh, for code coverage. 80% is enough, very enough. But we, here I see there is a percent. I can measure it. So now I have this position. This is the hundred percent. I can try to figure out a little metric around how close I am uh, to this point. When we talk about uh, well, a software as a service solution, and I just forget to switch to another screen. So, uh, when we're talking about uh, software as a service, well, it's basically a software, which is a code. And code uh, can be tested and code can have a code coverage. Great. So, a code coverage can mitigate, so writing tests can mitigate a lot of uh, security problems like uh, when you want to upgrade your software pa the, uh, packages sorry light then if uh, the uh, test fails it will show you exactly that when i try to upgrade this software package well i have a problem so code coverage is a good way to improve one percent I need to watch that camera. Sometimes uh, it makes mistakes. So code coverage is a good way to improve 1% uh, in the security. Okay. What else could be a good way to improve uh, the security? Well, it's also uh, good for uh, improving the business. Writing documentation, docs. Simply, I have a big project. I have to document it because it's good for my, my teammates, my customers to show we have a documentation page and they can figure out a way how to, well, improve it. A lot of project uh, that I have seen has 0% documentation next to it. Same thing. Uh, we are persons. Every person hates to write documentation. So adding just a uh, read me and uh, well try to promote uh, markdown files next to your uh, mm, so next to your software project can be a good way to improve the documentation habit with 1%. A second percent could be in the docs, create a how to start. How can I start this? Uh, project on my local machine in the cloud how can i just start playing with it and see uh, what is capable of 
<clears throat> okay, now we have documentation. Another person can be, well, create, uh, creating a pipeline. This pipeline could check if the code coverage is okay. Documentation is exists, and it it may attempt to start it or something similar like that. So it's another percent of improvement. Great. Now I have this little concept. It works for the developers. Now, if somebody joins the company, I can show them this documentation process and how we use code coverage can help you uh, with making your software uh, project work better. So, Training. Not a whole training, pro uh, training project. Just this little simple basics. 5%. We can ask the new employee for country boot. Country. contribute to this effort. Makes sense, no? And maybe another team may figure out a way how to deploy our code a bit easier to a cloud environment. As another person could be, well, scalability. So, How it's called? Red. Red As you can see, in this workflow, I haven't mentioned any security uh, tools or methodology or anything, but fewer bugs, up the updated uh, packages, it's a security feature. Documentation, well, you probably want to somehow uh, propagate your policies, uh, and make it make it up to date. This uh, documentation can be in Git. It's still a programming methodology, and it's not considered as a security feature. How to start? Well, it's a big issue uh, when it comes to uh, cybersecurity. Is to well, if something happens then uh, we will be able to well, start uh, the project from the scratch or from a backup. So if in the documentation we define the way, describe the way how to start a project, then we solve that issue as well. Pipelines, automation, like in, in uh, Chaos Monkey, when I hit delete on a server or a service. With the pipeline, I'm able to automate this process. 
Training. The cybersecurity training is a crucial part uh, in any organization, just to be aware of uh, different kinds of uh, attacks. And uh, we, we just introduced uh, training for a new employee just by saying, here's the documentation and you are good. We showed how to contribute uh, to this documentation because the documentation could be in Git. Then we will have access control uh, uh, around uh, how you can, well, mm. so you will have a access control uh, uh, around who, has, who are able to contribute to it and, yeah. Deployment is that simple as well, and then servers. So you, you may get the idea and by adding little improvements uh, for the quote quality uh, with the culture documentation quality, we can contribute 1% into the cyber security. The only issue is Figuring out where we are, this will be zero percent. Where we want to go with a particular project and say where is that 80 percent that may be enough. And because security is huge, we can define another uh, sub-project and try to figure out its metric and a way to move forward. So one person improvement in cybersecurity just as a mentality, could help. And if we stuck on the concept, maybe code coverage, the code coverage as a metric can help us uh, identify a way how, to, how we can uh, do this 1% improvement. So, thank you for Stephen Bartlett uh, for the 33 rules of business and life uh, and uh, James Clare for the atomic habits. I will leave uh, links to the, those uh, these books in the description and maybe this 1% idea will help you uh, in the future. I was Zoltan Toma, and this is the Curious Minds Collective. And see you in an upcoming video. Bye!